Hi there. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the points on the uh, book folding instructions um, for the book folding pattern heart with uh, circles. So what you'll need is your, your book, okay, um, scissors, pencil, I'm going to use a red pen here just so that it shows up a little bit better for you, uh, ruler, your book folding pattern that would have um, you would have downloaded when uh, you purchased the pattern and so your instructions your uh, pattern sheet uh, the grid or the graph paper okay so what I'm going to do is just start from marking the grid and graph paper so um, if you want to um, have your instructions in front of you then uh, you can follow this through but basically print the grid document from your downloads and assert it under the first sheet of your book okay so we get the grid with the red line A parallel, so this is your red line A, and it needs to be parallel and towards the spine. So if you go to the first page there, just slip it under there, like that. Now, I do need, um, I made the point about the, some printers not printing to scale. Um, if you print off the grid, and you find, for instance, like this one that I printed off, just take a ruler and just place it along the edge then where you've got the 27, it's, that should be um, right on the 27 line for your ruler. Uh, I'll just bring that up a little bit for you. If it's not like this one, don't use it, okay, so it might um, uh, affect your uh, pattern adversely. So if you're in any doubt, uh, for instance this one, I'll show you the one I'm going to use here, um, is fine. So it lines up nicely with that 27 there okay so if not just use a sheet of graph paper and just mark up um, the C line and the A line that's already marked up on uh, the grid that you will have printed off okay so go back to this so we're we're blind that up now pull the grid out a little bit about a half centimeter doesn't really matter but it's just to allow for um, the different uh, gluing uh, widths if you like on on that page what you don't want to do is to get halfway through and you, ca you can't actually get that um, in far enough to, to measure up to your line so just um, just pull it out a little bit and then what you want to do uh, align the outer edge of the page so that's this edge here of the page um, just align that um, to the next solid centimeter line so there's the solid lines on here so if I just pull that out to the next one that's where it's going to sit just mark that okay at the top so you know which line it is yeah and then we go to point three next page remove the grid so you take it out of your book and what you want to do is to highlight that line in any way you like really just so that you know where your B line is because that's where you're going to be uh, that's where your reference point is for the for the marking so I'll just do it in red pen here so you can see it that's your B line now obviously the B line will vary on position depending on um, the width of the book um, that you have Four, mark and draw a vertical line at three, five, seven, eight and a half, and nine and a half from line B along line C. What that means is you're going to mark those points along this line here from here, so from your line B. I'll just mark that as B there. Okay, so for instance, three will go one two three mark that five it's two more four five six seven eight and a half it's just there nine and a half just there okay and then what you want to do is the same that you did with line b just draw down those vertical lines so three We'll go like there, five, we'll go there, seven, 
obviously you can take time just to make sure that these are all accurate seven is there <coughs> excuse me uh, eight and a half is there and nine and a half is there okay so those are marked on then we go to making the folds now insert the grid under the first sheet to be folded okay so we place that there so lines B and C align to the page edges and remember to keep this aligned as you work through the pattern basically what that means is you you want your page to sit square onto your grid so that C is on the top and B is along the long line here so just just make sure that each page you do that sits and continues to sit as you're marking okay where the pattern states fold three or five centimeters from the edge make a vertical fold parallel the three centimeters or five centimeters from the outer edge of the page okay what this means is if you have a look at your pattern sheet yeah on the, the first few what first 10 you can do more if you want um just uh, depends how many you want it says fold page to three centimeter line what that means is you take and fold <coughs> vertically that page along that three centimeter line and so you, t you take more time in in getting that nice and parallel nice crease down there okay and then uh, the same later later on in the pattern you'll find that it says fold page to five centimeters do the same okay making sure it's nice and square but this time fold to the five centimeter line like that okay so if we go to point three which is the next point Mark the points for each fold along the page ed, edge sorry, using the grid to measure. Make sure your page edge sits on line B and C. So again, you just make sure that that's nice and square. Yeah, and then if we go further on, just to demonstrate this for you, we'll go further on where there's quite a few um, fold to to do we go to 161 in fact if we go to 156 I'll just put the page there so we can line that up nicely <coughs> I'll actually bring it down for you because you can't see that there we go okay so it's the top top line on the last page 156 fold number and so the first one to, to um, mark is 465 so we just come along here four six five again take your time marking these six point three six point three is there seven nine five is there fourteen nine five is the next one on this fold sixteen sixty eighteen twenty and that's it on that fold okay now using a ruler mark a horizontal line for each point making sure your ruler passes through your mark and is perfectly horizontal so you take a ruler <coughs> and you want to be passing through that mark but also making sure it's horizontal you can check that it's horizontal by uh, checking along the grid there okay the length so how you get how long you're going to do it is roughly um, about the same as uh, the top line uh, the column headings basically on your pattern so four six five should be seven centimeters so it just brings that seven centimeter mark on your ruler to the edge of the page and that gives you a rough guide to where you should be going now it doesn't matter if it's a bit longer um, but don't make it shorter okay if um, if you the next line to it um, is going to be longer um, then you need 
or, or basically the next fold is going to be longer you need to go to the to, to the longer one so the next one here is 8.5 The next one there for 7.95 is length nine and a half. Okay, so again, just line up your ruler. Next one, 14.95 is nine and a half again. Okay. <coughs> uh, 16.68 is eight and a half. Like that, eighteen twenty seven. Like that, whoops. Okay, the next thing you want to be doing is cut along these lines and fold to the required fold line. So basically, um, just cut along to the end of the line each mark, sorry, each, each line that you've uh, drawn. Okay. One more on this one. Okay, and then you're going to be folding these back. Okay, um, so the first one at 465 goes back to seven centimeters. So when you fold it back, then your red line will appear on there. So you just need to fold it, and that will be level with seven there. The eight and a half, again, you'll see that line as you fold it back. Just get it nice and parallel. And this one here is back to the nine and a half, so that'll be the next one. Okay, so you just carry on with that. This one's back to eight and a half, and that's to seven, like that. Now the last two folds will either be at five or three. Now the next line, if you go down to 157, you've got to fold at 3.05. So uh, you'll, you'd have another cut here basically. So that one would, the one that you left would, would fold back to the three. Um, but as there's not one there, this one just goes straight back to five. As you're folding, just make sure that this page edge isn't over the edge because you'll you'll end up with pages sticking up, um, and which is fine. But it's it's just um, attention to detail on that. Okay, and that's it. Um, if any of the folds are going back beyond the spine, just cut that excess off there, like that. And what I normally do is just lay those flat with the grid, close the book, and then you can pull that out, like so. Now, when you get to where you're doing the heart, which is the next line here, that'll be folded out at eight and a half rather than nine, um, so just so it, so it sticks out. Uh, but you'll still cut back to nine and a half because obviously the, the fold next to it is at nine and a half rather than eight and a half. It'll become clear as, as you move along the pattern, it'll become clearer, you'll get faster. Um, it's quite simple uh, once, once you sort of get into it. And I do hope you have fun and enjoy it. And um, I'd love to see your pictures if you finished fold. And um, any, uh, any queries at all, um, please let me know. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.